Welcome to this session where we are going to talk about pests, uh, parasites and diseases um, and how a farmer can uh, be prepared uh, to curb some of these to avoid losses uh, at the farm. Uh, remember, um, uh, a healthy herd or a healthy cow is a more productive uh, cow. And therefore, the farmer ought to be aware of some of these uh, 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 diseases and uh, uh, parasites that uh, uh, do affect uh, dairy cows. Um, to start with, uh, we'll look at uh, the common uh, uh, pests and parasites and we're looking at uh, the worms which um, um, get infested in the um, digestive tract of, um, of, of the animals uh, which uh, are actually caused uh, uh, by uh, bacterial and uh, eggs that will hatch in the uh, digestive uh, tract, eventually uh, infesting themselves and uh, 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 becoming uh, ringworms or form of liver flukes, uh, flatworms uh, or roundworms. Um, among the most uh, uh, infectious are the ringworms that uh, a farmer has to uh, take note of and uh, majorly affect uh, the skin uh, caught uh, of, of the animals. Uh, whenever a farmer uh, identifies um, uh, the cow with the, um, the skin coat that uh, is rough, should always uh, be informed that that is the first sign of uh, the cow being uh, infected by, by worms. Uh, one of the, um, uh, the major uh, symptoms that will help the farmer know that the cow is infected with worms is uh, um, a loss of um, uh, appetite and um, uh, that will affect the, uh, the cow when uh, it's feeding and it will stand and um, uh, most of the time uh, not feed well. We also have uh, um, the cow having fever. Uh, this will inform the, uh, the, the, the farmer that the cow needs to be checked uh, to see whether uh, the cow uh, has uh, been infected uh, with the uh, worms or which uh, other infection. Uh, it is always advisable that um, the farmer deworms uh, uh, the animals quite often uh, within uh, uh, not more than uh, uh, two months uh, so that the cow is free uh, from uh, worms which uh, affect uh, the production uh, of, of milk. Uh, we're also looking at ticks which uh, majorly damage the skin of the cow and uh, this will be uh, noticed and be observed by the farmer uh, because uh, they uh, will uh, be on the coat of the, of the cow and therefore it will clearly tell the farmer that they need to dip the animals and uh, uh, get rid of the ticks. A farmer should uh, uh, be observant and make sure that they regularly uh, spray their uh, animals uh, to be free from tick and um, one of the major uh, harm of these ticks is that they suck blood and this eventually uh, makes the cow uncomfortable and uh, the cow will uh, develop some fever if it is uh, seriously uh, infected with the with ticks and at the same time uh, uh, the cow uh, may not feed properly and that will also affect the milk production. Uh, some of the prevention and uh, 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 cure that the farmer uh, that need to take care of is uh, uh, always to deworm the animals within the right uh, time. Uh, the recommended time is every two months. The um, uh, cow should be uh, dewormed uh, with the right uh, uh, drug. Uh, it is also important for the farmer to keep records and these are health records that the farmer should uh, always uh, keep in mind to make sure that they, are, they guide uh, the farmer on when to deworm the animals and when to uh, prevent the animals from being infected uh, with these uh, parasites. Um, one other thing is that uh, the, fa the animals should uh, be allowed to uh, feed on clean feeds because uh, most of the bacteria will uh, get into the body of the cow uh, when the feeds are infected and uh, contaminated with, uh, uh, with bacteria. Therefore, uh, the farmer should always ensure that the feeds are clean and um, the cow uh, is able to feed on uh, clean feeds and not only feeds, but also clean water. 
farmers should also avoid uh, uh, letting the animals feed on, um, uh, wet, especially wet pastures, uh, which um, uh, most of the, uh, the the eggs are hatched by the, the these in, in infectious uh, uh, worms. So this will uh, uh, prevent uh, the the cow from uh, getting these eggs into the body, and always uh, the, the the cow should be allowed to feed on. Um, uh, or dried up um, uh, pastures. Uh, farmers should not let the animals to go and graze early in the morning on the wet pastures or if there are forages that have been uh, 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 harvested from the farm, the farm should not allow the cow to feed on wet forages because that is uh, where most of those eggs have, uh, will have hatched. Um, uh, let's look at the common diseases and uh, we're looking at the most common uh, uh, disease with the dairy cows, and this is mastitis. Um, mastitis is a uh, common disease which is uh, not, noted with the inflammation of the of the udder, and uh, it is always caused by uh, bacteria uh, uh, arising because of um, uh, hygiene, uh, poor hygiene, and uh, 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 poor care that is uh, given to the udder. Therefore, farmers need to make sure that. Um, the udder is always cleaned and uh, uh, washed uh, to make sure that it is free from bacteria. Remember, uh, this eventually, uh, this bacteria eventually affects the milk, pro uh, the milk produced because uh, the milk that uh, uh, is uh, uh, comprised of uh, bacteria um, will not be safe for uh, the com consumption of, um, uh, of, of, of people and also uh, it also uh, poses a great danger since the cow will uh, be more uncomfortable and uh, that will affect the feeding of that cow and um, uh, of course make the cow uh, not be able to uh, produce as expected. Uh, this can be detected uh, through the clots of milk uh, that uh, the farmer uh, uh, will not and um, it's always advisable that the farmer uh, test the cow uh, to see whether it is free from this mastitis uh, infection um, uh, through the use of a strip cup and uh, uh, quite oftenly the farmer needs to check uh, whether the, the cows are, um, are infected by checking the, the, the udder and also uh, testing the milk uh, uh, to see whether it is free from bacteria um, at least uh, uh, within every three months. Uh, to prevent this, farmers ought to uh, maintain high standards of hygiene and also uh, do what we call uh, teat uh, dipping. Uh, this will make the cow uh, free from uh, this kind of in, uh, infectious disease. We also have uh, one other uh, disease called milk fever which is uh, actually caused by uh, a bacteria uh, that infects the metabolic system and that's why we're saying it's a metabolic uh, disorder. Um, it occurs majorly uh, in mature cows and uh, uh, it actually occurs uh, and, and makes the cow uh, to be d deficient uh, of a major nutrient and uh, uh, a mineral called calcium. Uh, one of the things the farmers need to uh, know to detect the disease is that the cow will have uh, lost the appetite and um, We'll also have cases of constipation and restlessness. Uh, uh, as much as there may not be high temperatures uh, or fever on the cows, but uh, such uh, symptoms will, will tell whether the cow is, uh, needs to be checked for infection uh, of milk fever. Um, uh, the other uh, uh, disease is on foot and uh, mouth, which is actually highly communicable. Uh, uh, a disease affecting uh, the cloven-footed uh, animals. Uh, it is uh, uh, characterized by fever, uh, blisters in the mouth, and a rough coat. Uh, farmers uh, need to know that when a cow has been uh, uh, identified to have a foot and mouth, they should be separated from the rest of the herd because this is a disease that is um, uh, highly uh, contagious and uh, may affect even not only the herd but even the, uh, the animals within uh, a larger and a wider region. Um, it, care should always be taken 
and uh, farmers should always uh, make sure that they vaccinate their animals uh, uh, with the right uh, vaccine. They should make sure that um, uh, they vaccinate the animals early enough to avoid uh, uh, infection of uh, this disease. Um, we also have um, other diseases like foot, foot rot, which uh, always uh, get into the animal's uh, foot, especially when they walk <coughs> into muddy places. Those are bacterial diseases that farmers always need to be aware of. One of the prevention uh, measures, especially for food rot, is to make sure that the farm is clean enough and uh, free from uh, wet uh, and, uh, and <coughs> wet and mud, uh, which is uh, the place where bacteria will uh, infest. The farmer should also make sure that they have um, uh, checked the, the, the hooves of the uh, cows and make sure that overgrown hooves are, are trimmed and they are cleaned uh, all the time. Um, we also uh, want the farmers to know that we have um, a very uh, highly contagious disease called anthrax, which uh, is caused by bacteria. And this disease is very uh, risky because it, um, uh, it, uh, it actually makes, uh, uh, the, it actually increases the mortality rate of, of uh, the cows because cows may die suddenly uh, without um, farmers not uh, knowing uh, what happened to the cows. So uh, proper care on the animals should always be uh, taken into consideration. Uh, farmers should always uh, work with the veterinary officers to have the animals checked every time and also to prevent um, animals from uh, getting into uh, the farm and make, uh, other animals from getting into the farm to mix with the with the animals in the herd, uh, as well as uh, as people, and um, we are also looking at uh, <coughs> other diseases that farmers also need to know about. <coughs> we have the blot, which at times is uh, is common, and farmers should seek uh, proper advice to uh, uh, to uh, curing and uh, preventing the cause of uh, of blot. Then we also have diseases like uh, carotis, which is also um, uh, a disease. Uh, uh, Causing, uh, caused by a metabolic uh, disorder uh, out of a, a bacterial infection. Well, in addition to uh, other uh, common diseases that farmers uh, ought to uh, be aware and uh, have the animals vaccinated uh, against uh, is lumpy skin a disease, which um, uh, affects the skin of the dairy cows. Um, we also have rabies, which is an infection that uh, comes from uh, from dogs and can spread to the cows. So animals should also uh, be vaccinated against uh, such diseases. Um, there are key tips that the farmers ought to uh, keep in mind to secure the, the farm and also to secure the animals. It is important to know that the health of the animals uh, means the, the milk that will be produced is safe and clean. And we are <coughs> Uh, I request ask, asking farmers to consider the health of the animal as well as, as, well as uh, their health. And um, there are measures that the farmers need to uh, put in place to prevent uh, such uh, infections. One of the things that the farmers need to do is to put in place a foot bath at the uh, main entrance to the farm and also and as a, uh, at the entrance to the, ga to the gate uh, uh, leading to the herd and, uh, and the farms. Uh, farmers uh, ought to uh, make sure that they've uh, uh, prevented any infections coming from outside through um, uh, the foot bath, which uh, will disinfect the animals, uh, the, the, uh, those animals and people coming in and uh, to the farm. Uh, one of the other prevention uh, measures is that the farmers should always um, uh, uh, feed the animals on clean food, uh, on clean feeds and make sure that <clears throat> any symptoms or any uh, unusual uh, behavior of the animals is reported to the veterinary uh, officers. Uh, one of the problems that smallholder farmers do practice, which is not recommended, is to treat the animals uh, themselves. Uh, as much as uh, the animals need uh, 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 close attention and um, 
uh, closer and faster response uh, in helping uh, in curbing the spread of the disease, farmers always need to call a qualified veterinary officer to come and attend to the animals. Uh, this will prevent uh, misdiagnose, uh, cases of uh, uh, misdiagnosis of the disease and um, again will improve on the, uh, 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 on the health of the animals by uh, identifying the right uh, problem and curing the disease within the right time. Um, uh, apart from routine uh, animal health uh, uh, um, care that need to be given to the uh, cows, farmers should always um, carry out vaccinations and ensure that all the animals uh, are vaccinated. We have major diseases that uh, need vaccination and uh, one of the most common ones is uh, the uh, foot and mouth uh, disease which uh, if uh, animals are vaccinated uh, at the right time then uh, it can be prevented and we can reduce higher chances of the animals uh, being uh, vaccinated. Uh, being infected. Uh, farmers should always consult with the uh, relevant uh, 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 animal health authorities to know the schedule on when they, the animals uh, require vaccination and to avail the animals for vaccination uh, uh, from the major uh, uh, diseases. Uh, as mentioned earlier, deworming should always be a routine uh, uh, measure for the farmer to prevent <coughs> Uh, diseases and uh, infections uh, coming from the, uh, the, the or caused by the worms. In addition to uh, handling and management of uh, uh, an infection uh, which has been uh, uh, detected uh, as anthrax, uh, there must be care uh, for both uh, the other animals and, and human beings because the disease is also infectious to the human being when it's handled, when the animal is handled uh, without uh, proper care. Uh, care should also be uh, taken uh, such that the meat from a cow that dies from uh, anthrax should not be consumed uh, by human and uh, should be disposed of uh, uh, safely to avoid uh, the spread of, of the disease. Always um, uh, consult the veterinary officers when uh, handling such case of a uh, highly contagious disease. In addition to uh, the information that uh, we mentioned about diseases, uh, 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 at the end of this uh, course, we'll also attach uh, a sample um, schedule for vaccination, which farmers can uh, look at and uh, 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 know how uh, animals can be vaccinated and uh, as, as well as the diseases that uh, uh, can be scheduled for vaccination. Uh, as much as uh, uh, these vary between one region to the other, it's important that the farmer uh, consults uh, uh, the local uh, uh, veterinary officers and uh, local government authorities uh, to determine the availability of vaccines and um, also learn about the schedule on when the animals are expected to be vaccinated and prepare the animals uh, for that exercise. Now, this is an example of a crash, a cattle crash, where animals uh, can be moved in whenever a farmer wants to give treatment and whenever the farmer wants to spray the, the animals. Uh, it's advisable that um, the crash is uh, well designed uh, to accommodate the animal, the number of animals that uh, are available on the herd, and also to be uh, uh, checked uh, to be free from um, <clears throat> uh, pointing uh, 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 nails to avoid them from harming the cows uh, when they get into the crash. Um, this is a simple crash that can be. Uh, uh, designed and built by any smallholder farmer that uh, can uh, help and ease in management of the cows uh, at the farm. Uh, always uh, make sure that uh, uh, the animals uh, are free to move within the crash and not to be uh, locked in uh, to avoid them from being hurt uh, when they are being uh, served uh, or when they, were given, when they are being given treatment uh, at the farm. Mm -hmm.